This video will show you how to shut down the LSM 900 tonks. We're going to follow the instructions on the shutdown checklist. So the first instruction is to clean all objectives if they were used. I did not use all objectives during my session, so I don't need to do that, but I do obviously need to remove my sample. And remember, when you remove a sample, you want to go to load position to drop the objective and then remove it. And then you can go back up to the working position. So the next step is to switch to the 5x objective. We can do that here. The next step is to exit Zen. So to exit Zen, we're just going to go to the top right and hit the X. When we exit Zen, it's going to ask us whether we want to save things. Typically, the answer is no. And if we have files that we haven't saved, we can and we don't want to save them, we can just say unselect all and OK. Zen will close, and as it's closing, you will see this message that says, do not switch off system hardware until this message disappears. So please follow that instruction. Do not switch off the system hardware until that message disappears. So the next step is to connect to the server and copy files over. So this is different for everyone. Um, so we will show you during the training exactly which servers uh, you will need to connect to and how. The next step is to check the calendar and to see whether anyone is booked within the next two hours. So we have made um, a link here to Firefox. If you double click on this, um, you will see that it defaults to the calendar. And as you can see, uh, in this case, there's no one within the next two hours. So the answer to this question, is anyone booked within the next two hours, is no. And we're going to do the full checklist. If there were someone booked within the next two hours, we would do this abbreviated checklist where we would sign out of Tonks, not shut down the computer, and log out of the iLab kiosk. Because there's no one after us, we'll do the full checklist, the first step of which is the same as in the other case. So um, that step is to sign out of Tonks, but not shut down the computer. We can sign out of Tonks by clicking here, clicking on Tonks's face, and then saying sign out. You can see the computer signing out. The next step is to turn off the component switch, which is switch number two. That's going to be down here. The next step is to turn off the system switch. That's switch number one. Finally, we're going to cover the microscope stand and log out of the iLab kiosk. So I'm just going to put the dust cover on. I'm not going to film that. And then once that's complete, we will log out of the kiosk.